Don't forget to subscribe if this helped. Hello YouTube, Colbot Forever here. This is how to get Plug E, Diablo 1.13D, and Colbot working for single player. All links to download are in the description below. First step is to make sure you have a copy of Diablo 2 1.13D installed. As I don't have a working loader, you will need a copy of the LOD disk slash ISO slash binq file. This means you will need something like Daemon Tools or Power ISO to run the disk image and emulate the encryption on the disk. Second is to download the town.js and storage.js, plug E11.02, and lastly Colbot, patch, 113D core 15. Unzip both plug E and Colbot to different folders. Take the contents of plug E and copy them into the Diablo 2 directory like shown. In order to run plug E with the bot, we need to run patch d2 file.exe as admin. This will patch our game to use plug E. You can use restore d2 file.exe to remove plug E if you desire. Next, we will move to Colbot. We need to have our dependencies just like any install of Colbot, VC++ 2010 x86, and .NET Framework 4.0 need to be installed. Links below. In your Colbot folder, move to d2bot.exe, right-click, go to Compatibility, and set to Windows XP Service Pack 2, and check the box for Run as Administrator. It's a good idea to do the same for game.exe in your Diablo 1.13d folder. It may show as game and not game.exe if you don't have extensions turned on. Next, we need to make a profile for the bot. Click the Add button. It looks like a folder. If you're not sure, hover over the button before pressing. Profile name can be anything you like. Skip the account and password fields. The character field is the name of your character you will use. Be careful to make sure you spell the character name exactly right. Skip game info as we are playing offline. Difficulty is self-explanatory. Ignore realm. This is single player it's not needed. Mode field should be single player. If you forget this step in the game patches, you will need to either downgrade Diablo 2 or reinstall. Parameters are for windowed mode, dash W which needs to be left as is, dash and S can be used for no sound. Add a dash direct and a dash TXD as well, or you will get an unhandled exception error. Diablo path will be your Diablo 2 1.13d folder and select game or game.exe if you have extensions turned on. Entry script will be how the bot will behave. D2 bot lead is normally how you would find items. D2 bot map will allow a manual mode with mapping, etc. Key list can be ignored, as we are on single player, and Diablo doesn't check keys offline. Most of the other settings, other than visible, can be ignored unless you are an advanced user and know what you're doing. Lastly, make sure you press apply before you close this window. If you don't, you will need to redo the profile again as it didn't save. Next, you will need to start the bot to configure your character configuration file. To do this, select your profile we just made and click the green start button slash arrow. This will load the game and enter with your character. You will receive an error. This is normal and needed. Press and hold the home button as well as the space bar. This should close the Diablo 2 window. If it doesn't, please hit the blue stop button. We will now configure our character configuration file. This is in depth. And I've already gone over this in another video, which I will link to in order to shorten this video. Keep in mind to edit your picket list as well. Again, link in description for more info. Now we have one last step. Replace the edited storage and town files in Colbot to allow Plug-E to use the other stashes. Copy both storage.js and town.js, open your Colbot folder, and go to the following folder D2BS, Colbot, Libs, then Common, once there, paste in storage.js and town.js. Good news, you can now start your single-player plug-e Colbot.
Press the green start button once again. If everything went right, it will start the bot and use Pluggy with it. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one.